Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to learn one of the Java interview question. Question would be write Java program to find smallest number in the given array. So input would be something like this. So now if you write a, if you give an input something like this, so output should be one. If you are giving a negative number, okay, suppose if you are giving negative number something like this, so output should be the negative number, right? Because we, we are going to find the smallest number in the array. Now, suppose if you are giving a zero, right? So the output should be the zero. Right? This is what our expected one. Now, let us start write our code and we'll understand how we have to start writing our code. First, we have to declare an array. So now I can say in int array. So here we can pass in uh, values, something like uh, one comma two comma five comma um, four comma three. So this is what we are array. Right? We are declaring an array here. Now I need to find the smallest one. Right? So now here we need to store integer minimum uh, into the one variable. So first we have to initialize one variable. Let's say in uh, smallest equal to we can say integer dot maximum value so we need to call a maximum value of this one so this will be used as a starting point for comparison right this is a starting point for our comparison because from here only we are going to take one by one value and we need to compare and store okay fine now this integer dot max value is the highest possible integer over here Right, highest possible value using a for loop will or you can use enhanced for loop iterate one by one value and compare with the smallest integer right so now traverse the array for that we can use a for loop or for each loop i'm just going into that for each loop over here so this is the array here all the values are there i just wanted to pass one by one value into the new variable so you can create a new variable over here now we have to compare the current element with the smallest variable so smallest already we have a one variable is there now we need to take one by one element right so what is the current element will come over here now one will be come over here now we need to check and we need to compare the current element whatever it is coming with the smallest variable so how we have to compare compare always we need to use a if so if number we need to check if number less than smallest right so if it is the condition is true if the current element is smaller than the smallest update smallest with the current element so we can say smallest number equal to number right if the condition is true so each iteration compare the current element with the smallest variable if the current element is smaller than the smallest update with the smallest number equal to number that is the current element after traveling the entire array so print the smallest variable which now hold the smallest number right so now we can print so always we need to print smallest number so i can say smallest right so now let us run this See, now it is returning a 1. Suppose if I want to change the negative number. So let's run again. So now it's going to return a negative values. Suppose if I make it as a 0, then what happens? It's going to return as a 0 is a smallest number. Right? This is the way we need to iterate and we need to identify. I hope this is clear. Thanks for watching.